good evening good morning my people good morning on a good day some part of the world um india to local government is today on our radar imo state has faced hasmen attack in idiato and uh, this has men you know one thing my people you know Igbos is like the, the 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 religion that was brought in by the white men are still twisting your brain like kokoroko why do i say kokoroko because we we try to showcase ourselves as the as as Jewish as the people of Israel, but we do fail to read or to watch or to see how the system in Israel works. When war breaks out, Israel go to war with 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 their last blood to protect every life. Of their people. Ben Ham, when how Sakatori area bring war to Imo State, our people will now rush to church to seek for special God intervention. The thing that happened through the time of Moses to start happening now. Why am I saying this? Idiato are praying that the type of attack that the Katori areas gave them they pray to god that such a thing should not come back again you know what things normally happen to our people and we keep on behaving as if um, um nothing happened because it didn't touch us but let me tell you something a little history about about the the, the muslims and their beliefs muslims believe that Whenever they pour the blood of an unbeliever, they see you as an unbeliever. You know, we normally say that God is one, but Jesus Christ is 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 a, uh, is is for us. And the Muslims are claiming that Allah, or uh, the Muhammad, is for them. But God is the supreme, the, the supreme of all. But if you believe in God, why do you touch the life of other people that believe in? their own savior and it's like they are using these things as an opportunity to have leverage over our people because they notice that Igbos are ghost on people they are now falling in into our belief the same system <clears throat> they are using on europeans because europeans has what they call a human right you know and um and the, and and the, um, the these Muslims are now using it as a leverage to enter them, killing the lives of our people, and you folding your hand because there is a proverbs in Bible that says if you have five naira and somebody is in the need of this five naira and you fail to give that person and you yourself check yourself very well and notice that when I give out this five naira, I will not. I, w I won't be, I, I won't mix anything, nothing, I won't feel anything. And you didn't do it, that you commit a crime. You understand? And if you have five naira, and somebody is in need of that same five naira, and you know, when you give that five naira, that you have no food to eat, that you will start blaming yourself. If you give it out, you have committed a sin. It's a proverb. So, in other side of it, when you know that you did, if you fail to defend yourself in your own father territory, in your own father's land, you know that you have to defend yourself. And because of God, and because of what you believe on, you allow the infidels to penetrate your territory and kill all your communities. You have committed a sin before Christ. Because Moses went to war. All the whole people prophets that we see in Bible went to war. Why do they fight? They fight for peace to reign. 
Peace can never reign when you don't fight. Look, let me tell you, my people. If you're having a problem, and that problem keeps on tormenting you, and you keep on running away from that problem, have you ever, ever seen somebody run away from his problem before? Mention one person. No way. You can never run away from your problem. You have to stand. Face that problem and fight it out. So that tomorrow you will have peace. When the Igbos start thinking the way I am seeing things today, you will see that there will be no Katori area again tomorrow on your territory. I did not, I'm not trying to initiate a, 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 a problem into Nigeria, but I'm trying to alleviate the memory of our people that is in bondage due to the things that they believe on. My people, there is God, religion is real. But those that brought this religion to you are whitewashing your brain so that you will not be able to stand against them tomorrow. Read your Bible by yourself. Every human being on planet, as my hair is now standing, this hair is antenna that receives a frequency of interpretation from God. Because when I read the Bible and translate it to you, you will misunderstand me. That is 100%. We may have compromise in some areas. There are some areas I will mislead you, thinking that I'm showing you the right way. That means it's very nice, very good for somebody to read the word of God on his own and allow the spirit of interpretation in you to interpret that message for you. That's why it's not good for somebody to dictate the type of religion or type of worship you should take because we have different frequency to receive our translation from God. So, what am I trying to say? Idiator are facing massacre the same, the same way Enugu State faces it. And our people, our governors, our um, uh, law enforcement agencies, all of them are sitting watching. No, there is no even dog of a cattle area of a herdsman that is being arrested, even to question. In Europe, have you had, haven't you had that police have arrested a dog before? In some countries, haven't you had that dog have gone to court before? This thing is legal procedure. But in Nigeria, revise is the case. The life of the Igbo people are no longer valid, has no value in that nation. The so-called, the, the type of strength the DSS and Nigerian law enforcement are putting to arrest the Nigerians that are coming in from Europe. If they implement that same power into pursuing crime that has men are committed in Nigeria, I think there will be less problem in that nation. A little. You feel me? Because our people folding their hands and waiting. You know, the most funniest thing is this. Igbos keep on waiting for God to come down from heaven to come and solve their problem. It can never happen. I have been in a church in Europe here where a pastor, a reverend father in Anglican church, we are teaching children. Once upon a time, there was a man called Jesus Christ. He came and claimed that he's a son of God. That is the way they teach their children the word of God here, like history. But we, why, why, Facebook, Facebook keep on keep on tormenting. How can you tell me my network is weak, Facebook, while I'm using DSN, 50,000? It's not possible. You are fooling yourself. A day shall come, and I declare it today, Facebook. A day shall come. Somebody will be greater than you. We create a social media, and you will go down. If you like, you can terminate this video now, or you let it continue. But believe it, I have quoted today, somebody will rise up from nowhere and his social media will beat your own 550 times he will fold. Because you are supporting the same government that are killing our people. Today, the world are looking, watching, seeing the way Israel is arresting those that are collaborators of the um, Hitler in killing of Jewish. A day shall come when Igbos will haunt those 
who work with Nigeria against the Igbos. Free, we shall be free. Because on that day when Hitler was poisoning the whole Jewish, nobody believed that a day like today would be where Jewish will stand to persecute those that persecute their grandfathers. So my people, never you lose hope. Biafra is there to stay. Nigeria DSS are moving around with all everybody operating in Facebook. They have your picture. Take it or you leave it. They have everybody's picture. When you drop in their international airport, they will come after you. They will come after you with interrogation and intimidation. But don't be afraid because he did not commit any crime. Mentioning Biafra on national or any place is not against Nigerian law. Because in Nigerian constitution, if the law enforcement agencies are working with constitution, they will still understand that you did not commit any crime. But they will try to intimidate you. But you have to be strong and know you are right. So let me go back to my message to our Igbo people. Igbos, let me tell you one thing, my people back home. Or if you have somebody back home. If somebody <clears throat> slap you, box him. Did you get me? If somebody slap you, box him. Because in German, where I'm, where I'm living, they call it not fair. You have the right of self-defense. Every human being on planet has the right of self-defense. Drop that to your Bible that says when somebody slap you, you should turn the other side. They should slap you. You should turn the other side. And how many times will they slap you before you retaliate? That thing is brainwashing of white man. There are things you will read in the Bible. You follow the law of Moses. That is what you should implement against Nigeria today. Because a lot of bloods of the Igbos have floated on the street. A lot. What do they do? They did nothing. Protesting is a normal thing. It's a fundamental human right of a living human being. Dead body doesn't protest. It's living human being. When I'm sitting and my ass is paining me, it's my duty to move from that position to a different one. And it's my duty to check whether the foam is congested or should I massage it a little so that it will be soft for me to be able to sit on it. That is a mechanism in human body. When somebody is protesting, doesn't mean he's against you. There is something choking that person. And it's your duty as a law enforcement agency and it's your duty as a government of that nation to ask that person, what is the problem? Why are you sitting here and there? Why are you moving up and down? And he will be able to explain himself. Don't sit on your own confidence place and judge him automatically. He doesn't do things that way. So, for his men who are moving with cattles, destroying people's farm all over Igbo land, that is not the way they, they, they train cattles. You have to build range. How, what does it take for, for, for these Hausa politicians to explain to their people the need for range? You build range. Put your cattle there. Buy food or you go to bush and use your cars or whatever. Get enough grass for them to eat. But let them know you are using your own cattle to destroy. And it's your own business. It's your own way of living. But you will use it to destroy another person's own way of living. You will survive. He will die. It's not normal that way. Everything is, should be 50-50. You build ranch, you put your cattle there, and there will be less fight, you and farmers. Nigerian press, Nigerian television, Nigerian <clears throat> communication, whatever. They are there for nothing. They are there only for politicians looking for who will give them money. Why don't you sit down, make a national play, teach Nigerians how to build a ranch, how to train cattle. Here in Europe, they have cattle more than Nigeria. 
in 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 Duisburg alone, we city where I'm living. They, I will tell you the simple truth. They, they do kill every blessed day more than fifteen thousand pigs in a day, up to thirty thousand pigs in a day. Since I came to German, they kill it like that every blessed day to tell you they have enough more than us. But you will never, ever, ever find a pig on the street. You can never find a pig on the street. From the, the farmer place to the, to the slaughterhouse, they transport the pig on a truck to that place. And, you know, you don't, you don't behave that way. You are against the Igbos because they are more educated than you. And he doesn't want to learn from them. He doesn't want to allow them to teach you that marching on them, only pouring blood, killing, 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 killing. It's all the language you can speak in that country. Oh, God of mercy. Everything, like the time of Jonathan, what I'm, I always read in their news is embezzlement of billion, 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 billion. I did not even hear one blood. Now, Buhari don't take power. No more embezzlement of billion. It's now killing of Igbos. Killing, 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 killing. Is that, is that why you guys come out to take power? Does it mean that the power that Buhari took is just to, 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 to kill Igbo's half? I think it's time that Igbo's are running away from war. Why the war is already on their foot? So if you are fighting a war, what will happen? People will die. And you are not fighting now. More people are dying. So, check. If you fight, out of 100, 3 may fall. And if you didn't fight, out of 100, 70 may fall. So, which one is more better in terms of self-defense? And as, as I'm talking to you now, how was that keeps on importing ammunition? The ones they seize in Lagos belongs to how was what are we doing in the eastern region? It's now hitting Imo State and the and the um, um uh, Anambra State or what they said we say that it doesn't concern us. That is Imo State problem. Tomorrow it will hit uh, at their state. Next it keep us but when you unite yourself and tell the federal government, do you want to kill us? The time has come. Cock your gun and wipe us out. Because if one remain, you will never have peace. Or else you sit on your ass and let us discuss as man. Because the person that always likes to walk away from his problem is not ready to solve it. Buhari keeps on walking away from the problem that keeps on holding him in Nigeria. Whether he... Pff, let me not go too far. But our security agencies that are arresting every Igbo man that came into Nigeria... The strength that you are wasting to investigate on those that are operating in Facebook. If you implement those strengths in security in Nigeria, I think that Hawasa Katoria, that most of them will be in prison today. You are arresting every Biafran that is coming into Nigeria, putting them in prison. But those herdsmen that are killing people, killing people in Nigeria, it's against the law for somebody to take somebody's life. Or for somebody to carry an, ass carry an assault rifle. But all those people committing a national crime. And none of them, none of them, not even one is in prison. But a Bryce Smith man in a village that tried to develop or build one gun to shoot animal. You will arrest him and put him in prison. But those wiping a village out, when I say wiping out, more than 200 people have been slaughtered in a day. 200. You want to tell me under this 200, police did not hear such a thing happen in that place? Before they reach up to 200, police couldn't even arrest a rat of a herdsman. And you want us to keep on preaching peace because you are standing in the airport? Fuck you. I said, fuck your mother. Fuck you. You are not them. Our people should carry, even though it's cartridge, anything, even though the one where they do, the one where they do, where they do uh, tinker. Defend yourself. 
Stop, stop waiting when God come down from heaven. Man, I know seasonally we had her this time around. No manner for us. Even the land of make and honey that we call the Jews, the Israelis, when you go there, you have to walk and your hand got to get dirty for you to earn food to eat. Those things that you they use to whitewash your brain, start dropping them and defend your family. Defend yourself. Stop. Every day I'm doing this video, all of you will line up and you can't do nothing. You can't even tell your people the simple truth. Everybody's afraid. Hey, no be if I talk now. Hey, tomorrow they go with me. I'm not going to go to Nigeria again. If you go to Nigeria, what do you do? Apart of our parents that are there, if you go there, what do you do? Do you hard earn money that you earn here? You go there and squash it. Other countries are using, like South Americans, only Western Union money is turning the economy of the nation. Which people are the highest Western Union senders? It's Nigeria. Nigeria is a whole bottomless pit that can never fill. No matter the amount you take to that nation, nothing will happen. As far as that concussion called Nigeria is still in existence. I, I played something. I will upload a video. A British man that leaked how British make their concussion for Hausa to remain in power. And that man says, as far as Hausa is in power, Nigeria will never have peace on this planet. He's a British man. He even cried when he was speaking. He said, British betrayed the trust of the Biafrans that they have on British. He says how, how, how British pump money, send MI5, MI6 to Nigeria to ring the election, to manipulate our, our census. Even they say that one village was counted 50 times only to make the population of Hawassa to be larger than Igbos and Yorubas. He says, true, northern Nigeria is full of landmass, but every 20, 30 kilometers, you will find three hot. They are little. But as far as those powers are being under the kingdom of Hausa, there will be no peace in Nigeria. Until today, look, she's independent. From coup to coup, from coup to war, civil war, from civil war to slaughter, killing, assassination, imprisonment, and killing. Have you ever heard development? The development we heard of is only the time of Jonathan that people started leaving Europe and moving back to Africa. As Buhari entered, after two weeks, everybody confirmed his ticket and run away. Facebook is telling me again, weak connection. Facebook, keep on playing. I predicted today, the prayer and take over social media and you will go down. And you, you going down, you go down like Clinton and Obama. So, my people, what am I saying? What I'm trying to say today is this. Stop waiting when God comes down to help you. You have to help yourself. You have to defend yourself. It's your fundamental human right. Defend yourself. My duty is to motivate you to defend yourself. My duty is to let you know it's your right to defend yourself. Stop fighting each other. Stop seeing an evil man as enemy. Your enemy is out there. Your enemy is out there. They have finished Igbo land. If you go to Lagos, you will get this biscuit, 100 naira. If you go to East, you will get expired one for 700 naira. This same biscuit. I said expired ones to tell you they are killing you systematically. That's it. That's the truth. I can't sleep. I can rest. Every day, if I open news, it's killing, 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 killing. Every corner is, is killing, killing, killing. How many people remain again? Military are killing. Police are killing. Cattle area is killing. Hesmen are killing. I was, uh, whatever, everything is killing. You guys should start defending yourself. Start defending yourself. It's your duty to defend yourself as a pure Igbo man. Because Nigeria has stamped you a wrong tribe. 
and never you ever listen to Ojuzo Kalo. Hawosa and Yoruba are having Inakaku's problem because of Buhari. They want vice president to resign. And Buhari is now calling on Okoko Oji to come out to play that he will contest for 2017 just to put fear in Hausa people. Never you support him. Don't follow him. They want to use you the same thing that the white man does before in US to use the children of black people to hunt crocodiles. So don't be the, cro the Germans call it the, 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 the trap that we use to hunt for a crocodile. Remain where you are. Biafra is coming. What did I say? Biafra is coming. The people in outside, I mean the white people are now moving their body gradually. Biafra is time to come. Take it or you leave it. It's coming. And it's coming to stay. I think I send the currency of Biafra on my page. That currency, Biafra, do you know that Oyubo is selling? Is selling on international market. They are selling on Biafra currency. Have you heard of that before? One pound Biafra currency is up to go to today is fifty thousand naira. One pound Biafra pound is fifty thousand naira. So when the white people are selling on the money you are not using today. They have hope that your freedom is at hand. They said those things here in Jama. They said it within themselves. Are you, you, you are buying shares. Have you ever asked of Biafran this thing? No. But white people, the self heaven of their currency today, most of them are on Biafran currency. Real. So, support, be part of the making. Let the history remember you. If you didn't talk, you write. If you didn't write, you like. If you didn't like, you share it. Be the partaker. You see that Biafran pound, that one pound, gold color, the other one is silver, is 50,000 naira today. One pound. Oyibo is selling on their own territory, dealing with Biafra currency, selling on their international market. But in Nigeria, they block their, their, their pounds because they know when you grab that pound, if you get pounds for your place, no throw away that pounds again. No, look for Biafra money. I didn't say go and kill your people now because of this money. Now you have to handle with care. If you get access to it, protect it to the core. You have a multi-million naira worth of currency. And if you bring it out here in Europe, take it to every central bank around this area, they will collect it and give you the equivalent in euro. Quote me right. The money is alive. <laughs> My people, Biafra is breathing again. Thank you. Thank your support. Your movement have revived everything internationally. It's, it's, it's rare. It's rare. Believe it. Oji yen wata wil rakelu. Akarawe yao. De doga si wetu yao. And akarawala Nigeria. Because there is trouble. There is trouble. You people have not seen the trouble today because Nigerians always see it when it's already over. But we see it ahead of time and tell you Biafra is at hand. But we should unite ourselves and stop telling people that you did not belong to our group, you are not Biafra. No. Every Igbo. Man, fathered by Igbo father and Igbo mother, he said Biafra. Namde Kalo said it in his video. He said the full history of Imo State Governor. How he get his jet fighter, 
uh, his uh, private jet uh, duped he duped it as 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 a forward niner he duped it from Mombasa and the father how the mother travel and travel in and travel out we know the full history of governor of Imo state today the same hours that was ruling us during the time of military are still ruling us today in civilian clothes so my people my people i said biafra is at hand you know my last video i said some locomotive can they do like this <laughs> so support your people be part of the making and ndibo ona lazila azu ebo wo la ga kwaro na ko nu kwagbara onye ko ga ka nte na wo nwa ndegi awuru nwa ndegi is as e we nwa na na eru na okpokpo onye okpo isi na ala ri ega akala anya nwa na uri oro ge kwapi akpa amo kwapi akpa amo self defense because megwa he na kakare otu accord hem na agun we ji ogu una la zira azu na eche mba chi ne ke si na ligbe zi tero na amara zi tero nu the angels with the charot oh he ndi pastor and the father gala wo nu all of them na lie lie those reverend fathers say when ali igbo 90% of them are homosexuals the remaining 10% wo humanizer and Bible made us to understand. Somebody who on your main job to kwasaka kani si berege kbere. Your problem is times two. Na wai wo to ade. My problem uno we go out once. Uno. Adege ma against umu. Yen dia colonial master asu dawere dia gono na ala ala. Wero do man kat liki dawero no. Wero wan negi promoto ya so uhu. Uro meyo hu ni onye shindo hu o gido na agwo nu ji mma na fara nta mere je gwa anya no wa gba ina na church nta mere nta mere wo enu no na na mata de rosa ishi weke igwe na adon ga nde enye nwa ni na eri sense gi hu mu aka chara acha wo obogi ebirigi gi le ha anya si nne ke ekwe ni fara nta mere ga no ni hu ota ebe ono were hu gi shi eba ha gbara bi eku fi asi nne ndi na premati Ha simba o chile ke baku na oko onde na no lego na mano abu a kwa da simba da ga do kwa kwa ge sege hey nda wasa bugu no hafu ha chile ke a ponishi ha chile ke lebe magical uno chile ke lebe no gembo ndi bo ne shino la ni kwa ngo ogo ga vuro ogo ya torom na 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 ya torom na na la na lande na la lande Europe. Ibo na atoro ni na akoro anyi ubi no ge mbo ndo uhu anyi Undi yoro ba na aga atoro ha Kwa la yon ha ba hana Aya na aga kala ba ga atoro mga ba Aya na aga yoro ba Ga atoro di yoro ba hana akoro anyi ubi Na asa afo anyi Owo jire mani ibo Menejah nundi ibo ujo ti ibo echi Bana Cho che apatro ni ime Eche gare alam eche gare alam Ma wuzi onyo wule enho wuzi onye ekpere Onyo onyo wule enho chile ke kbo ziri ya Mereni ufunye pastor di yirishu hirahe debiti osofye na akwari ya chine eke osofye le chaya anya Si ya chine eke bulego iwe ulegi Dede biko leno vuganya lede manye Lo ya chine eke na kaze ekbele Cho chago zile di latest business yungu na Nigeria Ele di highest customer son di bo Every church ni ile ni Yoruba ni ile chicha from Muslim country The whole Yoruba 75% of Yorubans that are pastors today she from Muslim family. 25 of them she from white government church. Today they have the largest church every corner in Nigeria. Who are their customers? Nibo. Hey, something is going to happen today. Something is going to happen today. Hey, he's not a believer. You are the real child of God. Look, let me tell you one thing. One thing that I believe on my own. Mwa ne be 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 be
He need he go and marry. Marry go and pay. Need the question. Maybe we enter her. Maybe we talk. Keep you. What we do that day? Need the question. Maybe I'm. He go and go and marry. Oh, Paris won't you give me it? Papa, Papa. Um, because if man in a gozi, man na in zego si na aga. You see, Papa. If man a Christmas rule, he mo ane wish kwe u u du ke ba u ke jibo bo du ha that day. Pay ga gas that man a ke James Woods. James Woods won ya bori a he ga gas that man. And then nage di ala ni ya se wa da ke ojora dokwa dage. Oga gwa ge ka u no mo. Obi he che ya mana. Mzi ewa da kilo ujiyo na aga o. Mme ki o na aga. Hiyo alangu da o na aga short. E bosi hiyo a wongbe ya. Ka wongo te di ha kome gene. Ka wongo da motive te ya de mo. Beti uro mwa da kilo na aga na na gi zi ego zi zi ego zi na aga. Hiyo na wongo wala wo. O yoni. A wongo den di a wongo de wo krismasi ro. Ha ba kuro ma. Ma ma ka papa zina lo ke yin ari yane. Ha ka ka zina kade pishu kam. Ha ma zina ke yin la mwa le. Ma na me kwe kwe no. La me kwe. Gide me ni janga kwe nnegi. Ni janga kwe nnegi wo jona. Doge yi kani hun nagi. Duto gene. Yina he me yon ewo. That is the word of God. When you know the God you are serving. When you know that you are respecting. Live the laws that are being made by human being. Because what you see that is evil. Every human being knows what is evil. Leave those one being written for you. When you do what is good, the Bible says, he did not say, Bible did not say, go to Roman Catholic and meet the Reverend Father and come, tell him you have sinned that you committed. God forbid, Barton. Because Bible says, when you want to give offering, never you allow the other hand to see the, what the right hand is holding. It's forbidden. But in those Pentecostal churches in Nigeria today, they would be damned to waste one with that one couple that you are holding, that you are proud of, that you can even do anything that you can afford. They want to tell you, shut up! If you don't have money, get out. This church is not meant for popping. You understand me? So if you know these people leave me alone now, what do I do Facebook self? Eh? Why are they interrupting my service? Say Facebook, I beg, allow me to talk to my people. So, if you know the God you are serving, you know that he does what your mind, if you search your mind, when your mind tells you that what you are doing is good, my brother, don't run to any reverend father to confess your sin. There are many ways of confession. You may be among your friends, among people, more than seven people. You can indirectly confess your sin to them. Indirectly. You don't need to tell them the, that. Uh, you have to, con only God knows the inner, inner translation of everything. You can confess your sin before the people. If you are proud enough, you tell them that I am the one that committed the sin. But I'm telling you people today for, for me to find favor from your hand. Just forgive me. Or you go on your knees and face the wall and tell your father, Father God Almighty, the most precious God on planet, I don't worship any other God except you. And as you promised that whenever I committed a sin, it's my duty as a human being that blood draws in my vein to come to you and ask for forgiveness. Because I'm a sinner, Lord, please forgive me. You go to Psalm 51, you read it seven times. You feel me? You read Psalm 51. Put your hand in a glass of water. Put your right hand and hold the Bible with the left hand and read that verse, Psalm 51, seven good times. Drink the sum of the water. Use the remaining, wash your face and do whatever. You have blessed it on your own. No secret mind. No secret thinking on it. It is you that knows where he's spending you that will tell the God the truth. If I'm a man of God and you come to me that you're having problems, you will only tell me what I would like to hear, what you want me to hear. But when you are facing the wall, you will tell God the simple truth. Ask him whatever you want. Leave this, those churches that are worth washing your bread. These guys are the second colonial masters we're having in Nigeria. They are siphon, siphoning your money, telling you to sow a seed that you know tomorrow you... These people put me in hunger in Lagos State. I have to tell you the simple truth. I have only 15 years. I have a friend online. His, his name is Mark. 
Mark A.K. He's hilarious. He's a life, a living witness. I have 50 naira man last card with me. There is a church, bus quarter church in my in my street in um, 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 uh, Mafluku, you know, um, Oshunde Street in Mafluku. These people ask me to use that my 50 naira and sow a seed that I will see what God will, will do tomorrow. With all pleasure, I did it. My <laughs> They, they, they hold my bread. I did it with all pleasure. And what happened? Not if I thought that I, I did not have somebody like Mark, hungry may kill me. And I later went to that church to tell the pastor, I don't have any food to eat. I'm hungry. Do you know what he replied to me? I should go on my knees. They will place hand on me to pray for me. While I'm hungry, and Bible says, pay your tithe so that there will be enough food in my house. Why food? Not food for pastor to buy, the, buy a jet fighter. For no food so that people who are working in the house of God will be able to pay their house rent, see food to eat, and live a little bit comfortable. But churches are arresting pastors because of 20 naira is missing from offering money. The pastor will spend seven days in police prison. It's, right, it's normal in Nigeria. So my people, stop waiting when God comes for you to defend yourself. Start defending yourself now. Don't wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow wait for nobody. And stop thinking about tomorrow. Allow tomorrow to think of itself. Stop running here and there to look for miracles. There is nothing like miracle. Bible says you have a very powerful punishment when you try to know what will happen tomorrow. He said allow tomorrow to take off itself. So you running here task to know your future. Nigeria is in jeopardy. Take it or leave it. it. It's only few people that can be able to survive for a little period. Don't think that somebody is holding you back. Somebody do juju. This one. No, there is hardship. And you fail to use your phone to research for your survival. How can I? The next oracle that is alive today is your mobile phone. Go to Google. Search whatever you like. How can I start a business? Just like, what can I start in a village? Google will give you 1,001 ideas that you can't even remember your own. And they will give you the ideas and give you the low down how to start it. But you people fail to do it. Keep on blaming your grandfather. Keep on blaming old people that you're supposed to meet and they will bless you. You will stamp them because they are old. Tomorrow you will grow old. Everybody will grow old. And resemble that evil that you are seeing that is war war. That is human. Ah, my people. I don't know what to say again. All I have to say is. Stop fooling yourself by running to a man. Look, in a church where there is 30 people, everybody believes that pastor is leaving his own private family problem to carry your own. Are you not stupid? Which family that darkness doesn't visit? Which family that night doesn't reach their place? As far as night and darkness reaches your area, it reaches everybody. That's to tell you that problem that is holding you is even holding the pastor the more. That's why he opens that church. Why must you open a church? Why there is power and money that can change your mind and your face from what you are claiming. Mind is very trickish. But I have to tell you people the truth. I'm nobody, my people. But all that I'm owing you is to give you this message. Believe in yourself. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of your nationality. Be proud of your language. Through your language, somebody can be able to identify you. Don't try to look like um, 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 Ucho Kechuku from Ocean State. Or to look like um, uh, Sondo Lisa from um, 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 Kaduna. Try to be yourself. From your own area. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of your language. 
English, this one I'm speaking now, is not our language. Many people will be sitting in one place and looking, his English is not Polish, he doesn't speak like this, his intonation is like African, I'm an African, and I will remain African till I die. I will never be a white man, I will never be an American. Any black American that is trying to insult me, look at yourself. When you are pointing one finger at me, these three are pointing back at you, calling you what? At least me, I know my country. I have properties in those places. I have landed property that is my portion. I can be able to point hand where my great-grandfathers have been buried. Can you point yours? And my family name is well known. Do they know you? They only call you a black man. If you join hand to protect the black race, we will live long and you will be free wherever you are. God bless you. God bless my people. God bless everybody. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of your language. Be proud of your nationality. Many Igbos now are joining Eurobas and Hausa to arrest the Igbos in Lagos State. And Igbos now, you will see somebody answering to Kechuku and he will tell you that he's from Osho or he's from Kaduna. Igbo people are no longer proud. But the Yoruba man will tell you, I'm Yoruba. Hausa will tell you, I'm Hausa. But the Igbo man will hide his nationality. Ashibakwa Nyojo, um, Ohu, remain Ohu. Period. That's all I have to tell you, people. But we will, we will never be Ohu in Jesus' name. God will rebook that language in Jesus' name. We will be free. And Biafra is there to stay. If the Europeans have started selling on Biafran pounds, what else will stop Biafra? Nothing. Use your tongue. Use your tongue. And the supporters of Biafra, wherever they find themselves, wherever they are, and God should protect our leader, Nande Kalo. Ebo Olono, si Jiova, niya mbadume, ziteria nige la loro yoke ya. Na aka jideria nige adhoria, and aka ha, ga abho piyaka. Ndem na so piyaka, hu hu hu! Oga ibili oto. Ola nye na kiri, ilele gu, heli ni kume. La me no biya. Heli ni kume, ige ege gu ya. Osere, na ide na aso, eba koko ga rore na lota lota. Ide na aso chichoza. Umo kone eti mame lota insha la te lota insha la aso mombe ya no ura afom. Bifunu ge mishia nya mepe ya. Ono gajo se kebe mina ano. Ota ka problemu ndibo gajo na ha Jesus Christ wajwa mwa ya. Udo drono dira ndibo nile. Long live Biafra and long live my people. God bless you. I love you all. Welcome to Fosby Luxury Hotel. At Fosby Luxury Hotel, we offer excellent service. Our rooms have all the necessary facilities to make your stay comfortable and memorable. You will also have access to internet service, breakfast, 24 hour power supply, full air condition, free international calls, free tire pumping service, and free car battery charge. So, what are you waiting for? Quickly visit Fosby Luxury Hotel. We are located as number one at the Nirobar Mishile off Rajirazaki Road, First Estate, Amuwo, or the Fifest For more information or reservation, please call us. 080-75-78-7135 or 080-99-90-0601 You can also take advantage of our online ongoing promo at www.fossvhotel.com to make your reservation and payment for your favorite room which attracts a discount rate. Please note, rooms are reserved based on first come, first serve. Fossvhotel experience the home of comfort. They come, they come.